Hi, now I'm trying to solve a problem which is finding the largest sum of a contiguous subarray. So, for a given array, there can there could be a lot of subarrays that as that that is possible, but we have to find a subarray which gives us the largest sum. So, in this particular example here, this particular subarray gives us the maximum sum out of all the subarrays in this array uh, so the maximum sum is 7 so how do we implement this uh, programmatically so for that uh, in my implementation i am taking two sums one is max sum And the other one is current sum. Current sum will keep track of the sum of the subarray. Max sum will keep track of the maximum sum uh, that has occurred till then. So for, for the first time, both the sums will be zero. And then as I traverse through the array, I'll change these values get changed. So so first time current sum is uh, 0 plus I mean 0 minus 2 which is minus 2 uh, if the current sum is less than 0 so I will not it, whenever the sum changes to a negative value then I'll set it back to 0 that way I can keep track of the maximum sum okay so after calculating the current sum I'll check whether that current sum is a negative value. If it is so, then I'll set it back to zero. Okay. And then um, my i is incremented. So I'll keep track of i here. My i value is now one. So current sum is zero minus three, which is minus three again. And because it is less than zero, it is again set to uh, zero. Um, and my car i value is 2 when my i value is 2 i will uh, add 4 which is uh, 4 because 4 is not less than 0 uh, it will check if the maximum sum that uh, we have uh, is the maximum sum less than the current sum then we will assign uh, my current sum to the maximum sum so my maximum sum is 4 right now and my i is incremented and 4 minus 1 is 3 uh, this is not less than 0 is maximum sum less than current sum no so no uh, changing values i is incremented and 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 uh, current sum is less so we don't change uh, we will not assign it to maxim so then i value is 5 uh, so 1 plus 1 is 2 um, still 2 is less than 4 so we don't change it so i value is 6 then uh, 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 now maxim is less than the current sum so we'll assign 7 to the maxim and increment the pointer and when we come to the last uh, r element it is 7 minus 3 equal to 4 uh, 4 is not uh, greater than 7 so we don't change the maxim now uh, now the counter is incremented to 8 uh, because my array size is my n value is 8 it will go 8 is not less than 8 so it will come out and it will return the maximum sum and maximum sum has 7. So this is how we are going to return the largest sum of a contiguous subarray. See if you can see this 4 to 5, 4 minus 1 minus 2, 1 and 5 is the subarray which is giving us the largest sum. So this is how we solve it programmatically when coming to the time complexity uh, because we are traversing the entire array only once it is o of n times 
of n where n is the size of the array and uh, the space complexity is o of 1 because we are just using two variables which is equal into the constant uh, uh, constant so uh, it's just o of 1 um, yeah uh, this is how it's done thank you